You ready for the first one? I'm, I was born ready. Everything. I mean, the visual arts like affects uh, how you see and perceive the world, and uh, we create stories how we see fit, and uh, viewers absorb them and react and purchase things and uh, model their lives around all of it. You can't really escape it, and I don't. I don't know like how specific you want me to be about like reality television or just like television in general. But I mean, when those advertising our advertisements come on, uh, they spend a lot of money on uh, making sure that like you are going to be captivated in one way or another. And sometimes it's on purpose uh, to be offensive because like that'll make you talk about it. And sometimes it's uh, it'll. They'll try to make you cry, but like either way, television has the power to like elicit emotions. Both, uh, particularly with like the news cycle, the fact that images are so fast, it can create like a negative impact. Like uh, when the Connecticut shooter photo was released right after the uh, the shootings over there, they released the wrong photo of, of the wrong person because they were just they're trying to have the news posted as fast as physically possible. And now that guy uh, is getting death threats like still to this day for something that he never did. But then it's also good, you know, uh, if they didn't release the pictures of the bombers in Boston instantly, then maybe we wouldn't have caught them so fast. And that same effect, they like Boston had to declare martial law essentially to like, uh, to, to capture this guy. So, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. As far as uh, TV goes, or like just reality TV specifically, the, the speed at which things are available like really helps out ratings, essentially. And that's all that re that TV is going for. Cats. Yeah, cats and, uh, and stupidity. Is that, does that consider like an image or imagery? Like, uh, like the Jersey Shore people? Like, just find the stupidest, uh, person you can find and throw them on television. And, uh, that is what will get you ratings. Like, Honey Boo Boo, Jersey Shore. The more you can make somebody feel better about themselves for watching TV by, uh, making them think that they're smarter than the person they're watching, then, uh, the more ratings you'll get. And cat. <laughs> cats, cats, don't forget cats. cats. As far as like famous art goes, you don't really see that anymore, except in like B-roll uh, transitions. And every once in a while, I'll see that uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, the, uh, Are you talking with... about the, um, the Vertruvian nah. man? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's very popular. And, and it's built into like countdowns. I think you kind of answered the next question. I think the stupidity I... image kind of covers that. I think so. Yeah, that and uh, I guess another image is uh, is wealth. I mean, like uh, television portrays this image that anybody and everybody can be super wealthy and super popular without any real skill, as long as uh, they have followers on Twitter. And it's not true. Like you know, you got to have a, a skill or ability, or you've got to uh, be really gorgeous or marry a basketball player. Like it doesn't exactly work the way that everybody thinks. The guy that made Sin City and 300. It was directed by Frank Miller. There you go. That guy, uh, he puts on a, a great, great show. And that is like a true art to me because you have to think about every single shot and every single frame uh, that you put into it. And there's not one untreated, they're all gonna be, have like a treated element to it. But that is, a, that is a cool way of mixing cartoon, comic books, and film together. So I, I really enjoy Frank, little Frankie. It hasn't in one way or another. I don't know. I don't really know famous art too well. And uh, I'm never thinking about famous art like while I'm cutting things. I'm just thinking about emotion. So I guess on, on the level that uh, you can stare at a painting and it could uh, bring emotion, that's the only thing that really affects me like while I'm cutting a show. I mean, it, it all boils down to a story. Like what story are you trying to tell? Because you can get mountains and mountains of footage. And what's neat about reality television is that we get to create a story I mean, when you're looking at some famous artwork, like what's most interesting about them is that you don't just see somebody's face, like you see like an entire story wrapped around it. It could be as simple as like a day at the park, but everything in there is like telling a little story and like that's what's fun about it. But I never like, I never sit down to edit something and then go like, what famous uh, piece of artwork can I model this after? Uh, it doesn't really work that way. Well, again, thanks for, uh, thanks for getting on the uh getting on the call with me and it was great talking to both of you um well thank you and uh i'll let you go bye bye